We have an Ingenuity Smart Bounce Automatic Bouncer. Today, I will show you how to use the Ingenuity Automatic Bouncer as well as our review on the Ingenuity Bouncer. This bouncer is designed to mimic mom's natural motion in her arms. It bounces by itself and it goes up and down by a steady motion. Most bouncers are manual and it is nice to have the feature of bouncing by itself. It can be very handy to give your arms a little rest. You can use the Ingenuity Smart Bounce Automatic Bouncer until the baby can sit up unassisted or he or she reaches 20 pounds or 9 kg. There are two speeds to choose from and you can choose the bounce speed that the baby prefer most. As your baby gets bigger, you likely want to use the high speed. Press the power button and the orange light will come on. Choose from the two speeds by pressing the bounce button. One green light indicates low speed mode while two green lights indicates high speed mode. You can also manually add to the bounce like this. The bouncer will automatically turn off after 30 minutes. This is nice as I often forget to turn it off and you don't want to drain the batteries so early. The controls on, on top of the bouncer which we like. You can change the setting without distracting the baby. Also it is somewhat more convenient to access on top side than on the bottom side like most bouncers. Ingenuity also claims that this design saves on battery. This makes sense to me as it uses gravity a little bit. These are the weight and dimension of Ingenuity Bouncer. You can see the assembled product dimension and the product weight. So does the Ingenuity Automatic Bouncer vibrate? Most bouncers have a vibrate feature, however, the Ingenuity Bouncer does not vibrate. It has the up and down bounce feature that aims to mimic mom's natural motion when holding the baby. This is in general can be more effective than vibration. This also has 8 melodies and 3 nature sounds to provide the background sound. You can alternate between them by pressing this button. You can also adjust the volume or mute it by the volume button. By the way, so far if you like the video, please like the video. It's very helpful with the YouTube algorithm. For more baby related videos like this, please consider subscribing. Thanks for the support and let's continue with the video. So how do you clean an Ingenuity Automatic Bouncer? Babies tend to be on the messy side, so if you can't wash their bouncer, it would be difficult to use it regularly. Not to worry, the entire cover of the Ingenuity Bouncer is remo removable. <laughs> is removable and washing machine safe. We have a separate video on how to remove the cover. If you're interested, I put a link here and also in the description below the video. How about Ingenuity Bouncer Toy Bar? The toy bar can be easily removed or pivoted out of the way to make it easier to access the baby. I, I really like the pivot feature. It makes it very easy to put and take the baby. There is one downside though. The toy bar sometimes comes off too easily when it is in the most forward position. This can be annoying. Make sure to pivot a little bit to lock it in place and you should be good to go. The Ingenuity Bouncer runs on batteries. By the way, the batteries are not included, so plan ahead. We have a separate video on the battery types and how to take the music box off and change the battery. If you're interested, I put a link here and also in the description below the video. The price for Ingenuity Automatic Bouncer changes all the time, so I put a link below for you to check the current pricing. By the way, if you buy this through the link, with no additional cost to you, we get a very small referral bonus. Overall, 
We have a very good experience with baby bouncer and it can be very helpful to give your arms a little rest. So we recommend adding this to your baby registry. By the way, we also have other videos on the assembly and disassembly of this bouncer. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Thanks for watching and see you next time.